So now you have Muslim. They're either living their life in accordance with La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah or they're not. It will not go unquestioned. There will come a time where they will stand and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa will testify for them or against them. Did they do their duty or did they not do the duty? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the angels are witnesses are going to testify against us also. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَا يَلْفِضُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيبٌ That there's not a single word that the person pronounces except that he has raqib atid, two angels. One that writes down the good actions, one that writes down the bad actions. And you know what's interesting about a person? Sometimes people, they go to haram websites, right? They go to haram website, and then they're embarrassed. Maybe their, um, their spouse is going to see the cookies on the computer. You know cookies, right? They're going to see the cookies, or their friends or someone types in um, on, the, on the, the address bar, and then all these haram websites come down automatically. So what the person does is that they try to erase the cookies. They try to erase the internet history. <clears throat> but unfortunately, you have cookies that are unerasable. As soon as that website comes up, the cookie registers. That this person visited this website, he saw this, he saw that. It's all registered. Now a person may try to delete it on the computer, but if they want to delete this, it actually, it's not unerasable. It is erasable. In fact, you could change it to good deeds, but that takes a moment of tawbah and repenting to Allah to get the cookies deleted, inshallah. On the day of resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give every person a book. Whether the book will come in their right hand or their left hand, everybody will, every person will receive a book. From the moment that the person dies, they already know what direction they're going to be going to on the Day of Judgment. From the time that their soul is extracted, when the book comes down, it will come down slam in the person's right hand or their left hand. The person cannot get away from it. And I used to do this exercise with people where you just close your eyes and I want you to imagine the day, inshallah, that you get the book in your right hand. Imagine that day. Just take a moment to imagine what that book feels like. And to have it in your hand and know that you're going to paradise. Right? It's, it's an amazing moment. And actually, if you sit back and think of what it must feel like, what it must um, sound like and feel like, it would be an amazing experience for you and inshallah, just drive you forward. But on the opposite side, someone goes towards committing haram, imagine getting your book in your left hand. And I'm not saying that this is the exact same experience, but sometimes a person, they study very hard for an exam, they try, they really try, it's not like the lazy people, they actually try to pass or something like that, and then they come, they see the marks, everybody's like, yeah, I passed, I passed, and this person sees their mark. And you see almost like a darkness envelop their face. Right? I've been there. <laughs> and you probably have uh, failed a, a class here and there. Do you know that kind where your throat just, you know, something just clogs your throat and you, you feel like a tear is going to come down? Where you know that you should have done better than this. And that's just giving you just a tiny glimpse of the sadness, the ultimate sadness, the ultimate regret of finding that book in the left hand. What does it feel like to have that book in the left hand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوَضِعَ الْكِتَابِ فَتَرَى الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرًا ما لهذا الكتاب لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابِ That the books will be laid out, فَتَرَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ You will see the, the criminals, مشفقين, in fear of what's in that book. وَيَقُولُونَ And they say, مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ What's wrong with this book? 
That there's nothing small or large except that this book mentions it. وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not unjust to anyone. That indeed you know that if someone does a good action, they have ten times the reward of that action. It's written for them as if they've done it ten times. And if they do a sin, it's only written as one. So technically, if someone went to hellfire, they have to be ten times as bad as they were good to get to hellfire. One of the statements that you hear, you know, someone walks into an old house and says, if only the walls could speak, right? Even when you come into an old city and you look at all the old buildings, if only they could speak, how many people have walked down these um, sidewalks, how many things have happened. But in reality, those walls will speak and the land will speak and it will testify for the things that happened upon them. This is the earth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah uh, Zalzala, إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا When the earth quakes. And you know in English when they say earth quakes, it's not the whole earth that's quaking. This is a little part of the earth. But on the day of resurrection is one of the signs coming to the final day that the earth will quake. The entire earth. وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَا لَهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَئِذٍ On this day, تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا That it will speak of its news because of what happened on top of it. And if you look in the books of tafsir, as the ulama said that, they will, that the earth will mention that on such and such a day, such and such happened. This good happened and this bad happened. The earth will testify against the person. And another thing, subhanAllah, I know when some people die, and they might be secularists or something like that, and they start making up kind of like fairy tales, they'll say, oh, these people were joined here and joined there, and they will forever be... They make statements that... Um, that might not actually be founded. But one of the things, subhanAllah, when a believer dies, when a believer dies, a righteous person dies, the earth cries for their departure. The earth cries for their departure. And when someone's a fasiq, they're an unrighteous person, the earth does not cry for their departure. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about these unrighteous people, فَمَا بَكَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْذِرِينَ that the heavens and earth did not cry for their departure. Meaning that when a believer does pass away, that that earth, that testifying earth, cries that this person, when everything is quiet, you know, in the mornings, the sun is just barely coming up, nobody's outside, and here is a believer walking to Salat al That earth is testifying for that person. And if there was nothing else to testify, it would be the person's own body that's going to testify against them on the day of resurrection. Their own body. Like we said, when they're alone, they may be going to um, a haram website or doing something haram. The, the very body parts that they're using in order to fulfill that action are going to testify against the person. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the day يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ The day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify against them from the actions that they used to do, their own body. And I used to do this um, in a masjid and I encourage you to do this also. When you go into a masjid, you have some masjids where the Qur'ans are sitting very quietly up on a shelf, right? They're in nice little coverings, there's a little wrapping around it, maybe some Velcro, something like that. It's up on a shelf. And if you go and pull it down, you might actually get some dust on your hand. Am I right? When you see that Qur'an, ask yourself, is it going to testify for me or against me on the day of resurrection? the words that are in that Qur'an. And I mentioned this earlier, I mentioned it again. In Ramadan time, and Ramadan's coming up very near, 
you hear a lot of complaints about people saying that the tarawih prayers are long, right? So in some messages they encourage the imam to read a little faster, 